what is up everyone welcome back to the channel i figured i would do a recap video on my last tournament event 8 queen city kayak bass fishing lake jordan and falls lake i picked lake jordan i wasn't able to do any pre-fishing in this tournament so i knew i was gonna have to go in blind my whole plan going into the tournament was really just to hit points secondary points rip wrap and and just cover you know like lay downs and stumps that i could find when we when we did launch we launched at 6 30 in the morning and it was still a little dark outside i think it didn't get light outside to about 7 15 7 30. so i got to my first spot it was still kind of dark because i mean the sun was slowly coming up but it was a it, it looked to me like a really good spot i mean i had like some stumps on the secondary point i was i was marking some bait i actually had some fish busting i'm not sure if they were bass though they could have been hybrids so I started here throwing some top water, hoping to get a good bite early in the morning, but that did not happen. So about an hour and a half went by. I kind of switched areas. I started hitting the, uh, getting closer back towards the bridge and fishing a lot of this rip wrap. So I had to kind of bounce around from area to area to try to get a good area to fish all day. And I was covering a ton of water with a crankbait, spinnerbait, buzzbait, really just trying to get on a really good bite early in the morning. But it wasn't happening, so then I finally figured I would switch to something a little bit different. I was paying attention to what was going on in the area, and it seemed like a lot of people were throwing reaction baits, like crankbaits, A-rigs, and stuff. So I figured I would do something a lot different and just throw a shaky head. So I actually I tied on a 3 8 ounce shaky head, a little bit heavier shaky head, actually, and I was throwing it on a bait caster. And I figured I would, I wanted to make a lot of bottom contact and have that bait at the bottom and just dragging it as I was fishing because I knew that was going to get me a good reaction bite. So a few hours later, I crossed the lake. I finally got my first fish. Check this out. First fish of the morning, 17 incher. Just got him on a shaky head. My first Jordan Lake bass. So my first fish of the morning, I got finally at around 9.30 a.m. And I was thinking, okay, maybe we can finally get something going here. And that's why the title of this video is Thousands of Casts and Finally a Fish. Because uh, it was just a ton of fishing and I didn't really even get no bites. It was like a ton of fishing and then that one bite I got, I caught him. Caught that fish on a patch of grass and I was thinking to myself, maybe I can run around and fish some grass, but that ended up not being the case because there really wasn't much grass where I was fishing at. So I went back to starting hitting the points again, looking for any type of lay downs, throwing a jig, throwing a shaky head, trying to get bit. So that's how the whole day was after that, find, trying to find an area. There was, seemed like there was a kayak there fishing or it was a bass boat. So it was one of them tournaments where I just got spun out and I really couldn't stay focused on what I was doing. If I could have went back, I wish I would have just sat on that rip wrap and really waited on some of them bass to kind of move up as the warmer temperatures were happening. Because I knew that the bass were going to be moving up as the temperatures were rising because it started off like in the 40s in the morning and it got up to like in the 70s and i knew that them bass would slowly move up and want to feed and try to you know feed on something shallow jordan lake is a beautiful lake i mean i really like how it's all natural you don't have a bunch of houses and docks and you just have natural banks to fish you got rip wrap lay downs and stumps and and i really i think it would be an awesome fishery to fish when the conditions are right with like regular water level you know with the water levels being normal and you know just good weather and all that i think it would be an awesome day to be up there and fish but we'll move on we definitely lived and learned fishing that lake with no pre-fishing beforehand that's kind of it next tournament is actually this weekend event nine carolina clash that's actually the lake norman 
Mountain Island Lake and Lake Wiley tournament. So hopefully we can put something together this tournament. We definitely need a pretty good limit to kind of keep me in the race for the tournament of champions. That way I can make the championship. But we'll see how it goes. We need four good ones coming up. Well, thanks for watching. Y'all have an awesome day. See you on our next video.